In this lesson, I'm going to continue working on the next few shots in this sequence, and you are going to learn exactly how they're put together. All right, let's see what is coming up next here. Now I have preheat oven cutaway, preheat oven description, one preheat oven description wide. So I think there's two shots that have preheat oven description, and there's also a cutaway shot. So let me look at what that is. Let's start with the preheat description one. So I'm going to clear the search bar here, and I'll pull up preheat oven description one. Okay, no problem. Before you start assembling the ingredients, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. This temperature is a little bit lower than the standard 375 degrees because we're making extra large cookies, so we want to take the low and slow approach. We want the cookies to be perfectly baked on the outside and not extra brown, while the inside gets the perfect texture as well. Okay, let's check out this other clip here, CCI, preheat oven description wide. Because we are making larger cookies, you'll want to take the low and slow approach. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. So I think I like the beginning of this clip here because she says, Before you start assembling the ingredients. She says before we start assembling the ingredients. And that makes more sense to me. So I'm going to get this added to my sequence here. Start, a start right here. Before you start assembling the ingredients, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. But I really don't like how she ends this clip. We want the cookies to be perfectly baked on the outside and not extra brown, while the inside gets the perfect texture as well. That just sounds a little bit weird. So, low approach. I think I can cut it right after she says low and slow approach. We want to take the low and slow approach. So I'm going to mark an out point there and then add this to my sequence. Then I'm going to pull up the CCI preheat oven wide. You want to take the low and slow approach. And then I think I can pick up this clip right here because I liked the end bit of this clip a little bit better. So I'm going to mark an endpoint. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. And I think that's what I want right there. So I'm just going to add that right here. This temperature is a little bit lower than the standard 375 degrees because we're making extra large cookies, so we want to take the low and slow approach. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. So that sounds pretty good, but again, we have this weird transition here between this clip and this clip right here. So I know I can glue some of that back together with a cutaway shot because I did see that there was a preheat oven cutaway. Here we go. Load that in the source monitor here. Oh, it looks like there's two takes of this. All right, so we can probably pick it up right here. And then end right there. So I'll just add this right to the beginning, right after the ingredient shot. Before you start assembling the ingredients, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. This temperature is a little bit lower than the standard 375. And I think I can probably trim it so that we come back to her right after she says 325 degrees. But I want to make sure on this clip to 325 degrees. that she sets the temperature and she pulls her hand away. So what I can do is I'll just trim up the end here. So I'm going to hit Y on the keyboard, and I'm going to change to the Slip Tool. What the Slip Tool is going to allow me to do is leave the start of the clip set here and the end of the clip here, but it'll allow me to slide the footage in between these two boundaries. So essentially, I'll be changing the in point and the out point at the same exact time, but I will leave the duration of this clip exactly the same. So what I want to see is the end of the clip here. I want to see her hand just leaving the knob. So I'm going to click and drag to the left here. On the left hand side, it's showing me the start frame. And on the right hand side, it's showing me the end frame. So I think I can go right about there. Let me see what that looks like. Before you start assembling the ingredients, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. This temperature is a little... 
I'll switch back to the selection tool here. I think that was pretty close. I may extend this out by just a few frames. 25 degrees. This temperature is a little bit... And I think that works pretty well. So we want to take the low and slow approach. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. According to the shot list, I don't have any other shots listed that were planned for this shot, but let me see if I can find another shot to patch that little edit point together. I have a shot listed here, cookie close up on rack cutaway. Let me take a look at that. Ooh, I see. We got a camera going into the cookies on the rack and a nice little close up here of these two cookies. I think that would actually work really well as she's talking about the level of doneness on these cookies. So I might pick an in point right here and then pick an out point right here and see if that works to slot in here. Let me check this out. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. Well, okay, that's not gonna work super great. Let me just slide it back and then extend this to the left a little bit. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. I think that works pretty well. I don't wanna have this clip go when the camera starts moving back to the right. Let me see if I can pull this a few frames this way. Let's see if this works. We want the middle of these cookies to be a... Mm, I don't think that works. So I'm gonna double click this media clip and that's gonna bring it back up in the source monitor here. And now I can actually make adjustments to the in and the out point here in the source monitor. And that will change what's happening with this clip in the sequence. I think I might be able to actually pick it up right here when the camera starts moving right. So I'm gonna grab right in the middle here where this hand tool is and just slide this over. And then over here, that's going to update in the sequence. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. I like that. That looks pretty good. Now you can see there are some more shots in the list, but I'm going to let you work on those on your own. Let me just play this down from the beginning. Have you ever had a recipe for chocolate chip cookies that left something to be desired? It can be daunting trying to find just the right recipe. Not flat, not too dry, delicious flavor, picture perfect, and best of all, easy. Hi, my name is Cheryl Ziegler, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make big bakery style chocolate chip cookies. First, let's go over the ingredients. You will need two cups of all purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, three quarters of a cup of melted butter, one cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, one egg and one egg yolk, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and two cups of chocolate chips. Before you start assembling the ingredients, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. This temperature is a little bit lower than the standard 375 degrees because we're making extra large cookies, so we want to take the low and slow approach. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges get too dark. All right, so playing that back, there was a few things that I saw in there Right at the end here, I think I could add just a little bit more space because it felt like she rushed into the second line here. The low and slow approach. We want. So I'm just going to do a ripple edit and push this out just a hair. Approach. We want the middle of these cookies to be. And it actually works pretty well. We want the middle of these cookies to be a perfect golden brown before the edges. There's also some audio transitions here that are not super smooth. And that's something you're gonna learn how to fix coming up next.